Last year, homeowners across the nation found themselves in some serious circumstances due to extreme temperatures and record levels of snowfall. How can we prepare for the worst? Here to answer that question, a guy we know from Trading Spaces, Dear Genevieve, and The White Room, Thad Mills. Good morning, Thad. Good morning, Mary. How are you? Hey, we're doing great, and it's good to see you. Um, you recommend getting winter ready right now. Why is that? Well, it's all about preventative maintenance, right? I mean, do as much as you can before that snow and those colder temperatures hit so that you're not stuck in a situation where, you know, now you got to do something and it's 20 below zero or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, snow removal is a very big part of that, and that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit with what I've got going on mm -hmm. here. I got three of my top choices for snow blowers here. And starting off with the Snow Joe. So the really cool thing about this is it's battery operated or it's corded. So we're talking electric here. It's not gas powered. Uh, so it's very clean, it's very lightweight, it's very easy to use. And it's a little on the smaller side, so really it's good for somebody who has a small space to maintain. Uh, but if you do have a bit, a bit larger space, a bigger driveway, the Toro Snowmaster 724 is a really good choice. Uh, basically, it's gas powered, it's your medium average range, but the cool thing about it is the personal pace technology in it. So when you're using it and you're pulling down that handle, when you're walking it, it just speeds to stay with you. So it's not going to get ahead of you and it's not going to stay behind and hold you up. It actually adjusts the speed so that it's working with you. Is that another mm. one? What's For more bigger projects, yeah. though. That's what I, I saw a tank on the end yeah, there, Thad. What is that end? thing? Yeah. It, it is. It, it's more for like the bigger areas. If you have a very big space you're trying to maintain, mm -hmm. the Aaron's Deluxe 28 is really something to consider. So it's all steel construction. It's dual belt driven. It's gas powered. And so really, it's a big machine, but the way that they've engineered the power steering in it, the wheels, it has a turn assist on it. So you can actually turn around very oh, easily wow. despite its size. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we are clearing snow already here in our neck of the woods this season. What you're showing us now, it's timely. <laughs> what else do you want us to keep in mind? Well, definitely don't forget the snow rake. You know, it's not safe to get up on your roof and remove it with a regular shovel. Uh -huh. uh, what you sh every homeowner should invest in is a roof rake. Uh, this telescope's out to almost 17 feet, so you can stay safe, stay on the ground, reach up and remove all that snow off of your roof without ever getting on it. Um, another very important thing is think about your copper pipes, your plumbing system in the house. You want to insulate those pipes so that we don't have freezing pipes and we don't have bursting pipes. That could lead to a very costly fix maybe mm -hmm. in the middle of winter when it's, it's really not a good time for any of that. So a very easy preventative step that you can take is applying this foam insulation around your copper piping. It's sold in big 36 inch lengths and longer and basically it's pre-cut on one side. Open it up, pop it over the pipe and your pipe is insulated. You can cut the end off with a, a utility knife to cut it to size. So very easy to install. Uh, it's very fast and cost effective and it kind of just acts as um, a frontline defense over your pipes to help them operate more efficiently mm -hmm. and also help keep them from freezing. We had that problem all the time growing up and it made winter even more stressful than it was already. Uh, when you turn on the faucet and nothing was coming out. Um, we have less than a minute here at that. Any other ideas? Maybe a website with more products for our viewers to check out? Yes, you can find all these products and more information on them at homedepot.com. All right, listen, I've got I make plenty of trips there. They know me by name. <laughs> the one near my house that thanks for joining <laughs> us. Okay. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow.